believe in? I believe in the Bible. Uh, you in the Bible, in the Bible, yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, which uh, version of the Bible is that, if I may ask? The New King James Version. The New King James Version. Yeah. So, is it true that the King James Version is the Protestant version of the Bible? Yeah. And is it true that the King James Version has 66 books? Yeah. And is it true that the Catholic Bible has 73 books? I think so, yes, but I'm not a Catholic. Okay, so tell me which Bible is true? The Catholic Bible with 73 books or your King James's version of the Bible, Protestant Bible with 66 books? Which Bible is true? Why, all the Bibles tell you that Jesus Christ was crucified. Oh, oh thank you very much. So you said all the Bibles tell you mm -hmm. that Jesus was crucified. Yes. When you say Jesus was crucified, <coughs> do you mean Jesus was killed? Yes. So when you say Jesus was killed, mm. are you telling us God was killed? Yes. For well, God was killed. Mm -hmm. What we say, we Muslims say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is almighty God. Mm. Okay. As a Christian, do you believe that Jesus was Almighty God. Yes. So we Muslims say Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cannot die. So as a Christian, you just told us that Jesus was Almighty God. Mm -hmm. So how can Almighty God, your Almighty God Jesus, die? How? Because he had to die. Okay. Why did Jesus, why did your Almighty God Jesus had to die? Because we um, we had to be, um, you know, because our sins had to be forgiven and our and our sins had to be washed away by His blood. That's why. Thank you very much. But now, so can, I, you, uh, okay. can I come back on that, please? Thank you very much. Sure. Uh, uh, well, we have to carry on nice. with your script, you're right? Being, you're being very nice. Let me ask you. You said that Jesus had to die. Yeah. So that by the blood of Jesus. All your sins will be forgiven. Yeah, that's what okay. the Bible says. So, do you wash your sins away with blood? Do you Christians wash your sins away with blood? Yes? What do you mean by that? Well, I'm speaking English, but do you Christians wash your sins away with the blood of Jesus? Yes. Can't Jesus, if Jesus was God, can't Jesus just forgive? Yes, he can forgive. So why does Jesus, your God himself, have to die? Because the cause of sin is death, that's why. So okay. in the Old Testament, they sacrificed animals. Okay. And then when Jesus, but no one went to heaven. That's why Jesus said, yeah. Jesus said, um, in John 3.13, no one has ascended into heaven except the one who came from heaven. Okay. So anybody who died before the crucifixion actually just went to Sheol. The crucifixion was necessary to, for people, the resurrection, so that people could be reconciled back to God. Okay. Because Jesus was sinless, so he was a perfect sacrifice for the God the Father. Yeah. That's okay. the answer. Okay, when Jesus came down to earth, yeah. Was there a God in heaven? Yes. So when, so you are telling us, you told us Jesus was God, yes? Mm. So when your God Jesus came on earth, was there a God in heaven? Yes. So if Jesus was God on earth, that's one God, and then there's one God in heaven. Yeah. So that makes two gods. No, it makes two persons plus the Holy Spirit. Two persons? Yeah. Are they two separate persons? No, that's why Jesus says, me and the Father are one. So did because you they're not say, separate. So did you just say that Jesus and the Father are one? Yes, the Bible says that. So they are not two? No. But Jesus, but the Father is the God of Jesus because he's the head of the Trinity. Now, to answer, to answer your previous question, and then we'll carry on. You know, you asked me, 
how do we know which one is the right Bible? Now, if you put any verse in the Bible, you can use Bible Hub. I just put John 19, 13, and it says, but they came to Jesus and said that he was already dead and he did not break his legs. Now, on this website, it shows you all the Bible versions, and they all say the same thing. And okay. likewise, for 99.9% .9 of the verses in the Bible, all the versions of the Bible say the same thing. How many and percent I wanted to did answer. you say? Okay, did you say all the Bibles say the same thing? Yes. But my question is, are all the Bibles with the same number of books? No. Okay. So let me but all the Bibles have the 66 books which are essential. Okay. So you just said not all Bibles have the same number of no, books. Yes, no, no. So but Bible now I want to ask you some questions because okay. your Muslim friends I, couldn't answer. I, when it, in Isaiah, in Isaiah, when it says, yeah. "In that year that King Uzziah, King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated upon a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple." So when he's say, talking about when Isaiah saw God seated up, who was he talking about, Usman? Because there are many other verses that okay. identify. Okay. with the Godman okay. figure in the Old okay. Testament, okay. what were the Jewish Jewish people talking about? Okay, we carry on, okay? Um, look, when Isaiah is talking about God, mm. he's not talking about Jesus. He is talking about Jesus. But Jesus, okay, was Isaiah born before, was the prophet Isaiah born before the prophet Jesus. He was, but he wasn't, he, Jesus wasn't created, so Jesus existed, so and he was one of the prophets, and he saw him, he okay. saw him. Did you just say that Jesus was not created? Yes. Okay. Mama, no. can you answer me? No. No. Osman, no. No. Osman, tell me, who yeah. is no, the God-man figure that the old prophets in the Old Testament saw? Yeah. Who was this person that they saw? Because I can you answer you. you. Right. The, the person that they saw, for example, in Isaiah, yeah. it is Jesus Christ yeah. that they saw. That's why in Colossians 1.15, so it says that he is the image of the invisible God. Okay. And you have other verses where okay. the prophets in the Old Testament, they Thank saw you. a man, God figure. Thank How you. do you explain that? Thank you. So when they saw Jesus, yeah. did they saw Jesus as God? Yes. Or did they see Jesus as a man? They saw him as a God-man figure. And I can show it to you on another verse. Did you say they saw Jesus as a God-man figure? Yes, they did. How can you say God-man? Right, I'm going to show you what okay. uh, one of the situations where it happened in the Old Testament, right? If we go on Genesis 32, for example, yes. do you know um, the story of Jacob? You know who Jacob is? Yeah, Jacob, Jacob, and Islam was a prophet. Well, his name was Israel, and I'm going okay, to read it yeah. to you. So in Genesis 32, Israel. from verse 22, yes. and he arose that night and took his two wives, his two female servants, and his eleven sons, and crossed over the ford of Jacob. Yeah. He took them, sent them over the brook, and sent them what he said. Then Jacob was left alone, and the man wrestled with him until breaking dawn. Okay. And he carries on the story. I'm not going to read it all to you, but if you carry on from verse 30, yeah. okay. it says. So Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I've seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. Now, okay. do you understand what happened? Okay, did you say that the prophet Yaqub, Jacob, saw God face to face? Yes, it says it in here. Okay. Can you read it to me? Okay, don't worry. For read, read Jacob don't called the name of the place Peniel, for okay. I've seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. So, and this is not the only example that I can show you, so Osman. That God... So that God who the prophet Jacob, Yaqub, al Islam saw, was that God Jesus? Yes, and I can show you from but the... But Jesus was not born at that time. He wasn't born. Yeah. But in, uh, in John 1.18... So how it... was he there if Jesus was not born at because that time? Because being born is not created. So in, uh, in John 1.18 it says... No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son who is at the bosom of the Father... He has declared him. And this is the issue that we have. Okay. No one can see the Father, but Jesus Christ appeared many times in the Old Testament. And I can show you other verses as well if yeah. you want. Okay, can I, can I ask you something? Okay, do you, we Muslims believe in all the prophets? Yeah. Okay? And we Muslims believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as God Almighty. 
as a christian do you believe whatever jesus said yes you do okay let me tell you what jesus said are we changing subject we now we are not we are not we are still talking about jesus and god almighty soul okay so as a christian do you believe what jesus said yes okay let me tell you what jesus said in the bible mm. in every christian bible in the new testament in the fourth gospel gospel according to john chapter 5 verse 37 jesus said jesus said you have never heard his god's voice at any time nor have you seen his god's shape is this verse in the bible true yeah let's let's so let if, me get it up which so, verse is it again please okay gospel according to john chapter 5 verse 37 i read it now if you want to read it you read it yourself what did jesus say about god Yeah so he's talking about the father himself not okay. about Jesus Christ and about it's not God. a God no it's talking about the father Who because the father God, yeah, yeah the father is God so no yeah. one has seen the person of the father so what does but he people say? have seen so in from in John chapter 5 verse 37 it says and the father himself who sent me as testified of me Sent you've never me. heard his voice at any time nor have seen him uh, but you right. do not have his word about him in you because what so, whom he sent so him you do not believe okay. you search the scripture Amy. for in them you think you've eternal life and these are the very feature scriptures Amy. which testify of me Amy. but you're not willing to come to me that you may okay, have life there. Uthman stop that's what the stop. bible Amy. says about okay. you thank you very much for that Amy thank you very much now so you agree with me what i read you were read that yeah. jesus said that you have neither heard god's voice at any time no he's not saying god is saying the father which is different ah so are you saying jesus is different god and god the father is different god no i'm talking that they're different person that's why yes. we have the man god figure man appearing god. in the old testament man god man so, god figure and i can so, show you another example so, uh, Amy, Amy, when you say man God, do you mean Jesus? Yes. Okay, can I ask you another question? Amy, thank you very much. Very Ma, nice. Can I answer? Amy. Can I answer cuz I'm going to show you that there is a man God figure in the Old Testament. Man in another God. book of the Old Testament in book of Why Joshua. Can you say man God. Because I'm going to show you in okay, the book of Joshua in verse five, from chapter 5 verse 13 and it came to pass When Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted his eyes and looked and behold a man stood opposite him with his sword drawn in his hand and Joshua went to him and said are you for us or for our adversaries so he said no but as a commander of okay. the army of the Lord I've now come and Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshiped and said to him what does my lord say to his servant then the commander of the Lord's army said to Joshua take your sandals off your foot for the place where you're standing is holy and Joshua did so and we have a same example in Exodus 3:5 okay, 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 when God okay, said okay. to take to Amy. Moses take off your sandals for the for okay, the land is holy now. Amy thank you very much give me a chance Amy was Jesus a servant of God Yes So Jesus was servant of God Yeah If Jesus was servant of God how can be how can Jesus be God as well Because he's a different person of the Trinity that's that's the answer Okay okay can I can I tell you you don't make sense because sometimes you say Jesus was God and now when i ask you was jesus servant of god you said yes so if jesus was god how can jesus be servant of god as well because i told you because the trinity has a hierarchy that's why okay. you have the father at the head of the trinity okay. and you have this jesus christ who is a, a human image of the invisible god and the holy spirit okay. which is everywhere that's okay. how the triune god okay. works did amy thank you very much amy did god the father send jesus yes so if god the father sent walikum if god the father uh, excuse me don't interrupt if god the father sent jesus 
Does that mean God the Father is more powerful than Jesus, God the Son? No, they both because they're the same. They're the same God. It's not more powerful, same but God? you have, but you have a, a hierarchy. When you and say, I, Amy, when you say this is not going on the Dawa channels, Amy, by the way, John. Amy, John, this Amy, is not going on the Dawa channels, Amy, I bet. Amy, <laughs> when you say that Jesus. And God the Father, they are same God. Then how can one God, God the Father, send Jesus if they are same? If they are one? Because they're different persons, and this is why different. I'm going to show you another, another, so all another are verse. Different gods. Yeah, no, because they're they're the same God. This is why same when God. you look in Judges, there is another example of the same man God Jesus figure appearing. Someone. Do you want to see the man God appearing man in God. Judges? There was a situation. Because he's a man God, he's not okay. just man. Is, is, Amy, is, 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 Amy, is a man creation? Yes, but he's made in so the image was, of God. So was Jesus man was Jesus the man creation? No, the thing is, the Bible is clear that we are made in the image of God. So our humanity comes from God. Okay. And I'm going to show you, let me show you one verse. Go on. In Judges chapter 13, yes, you know, on. there was a situation where Jesus Christ appeared to the mother and father of Samson. Okay. And I'm not going to read the whole story, yeah, but on. if we just oh, read verse 22, <laughs> and Madua said to his wife, we shall surely die because we have seen God. It says it in here. Go on. And then, um, but his wife said to him, if the Lord had desired to kill us, he would have not accepted a burnt offering okay. and a grain offering. So again, you can see that there is this man God figure okay. that appeared. Um, like I said, I won't read the whole story, but it's there again, this situation. How do you explain that? Okay, excuse me, excuse me. Amy, can I give you a verse from the Bible? I'm okay. tired now. Can I, okay, <laughs> Amy, Amy, can I give you, you do, you are telling us that Jesus, don't you have manners, Christian? I'm old enough to be your grandfather. Behave yourself, man. It's a debate. Come on, excuse me. Madam, madam, you did tell us that Jesus was God-man. Yes? Yes. That means Jesus was a man, yes? Yeah, we know Jesus okay, was man okay. and God. And as a, we Muslims believe in our Holy Quran from beginning to the end. As a Christian, do you believe your Bible from the beginning to the end? Yes. Do you, as a Christian, do you believe in everything in your Bible? Yes. Let me give you a verse. Very good one. Yeah. Let me give you a verse from your Bible. Yeah. Okay. In every Christian Bible, in the book of the prophet Hosea. Yes. In the Old Testament, mm -hmm. chapter 11. Mm -hmm. Verse 9, God says, what does God say? God says, for I am God and not a man. Yeah, that's why he's a God man. It's not the same thing. But it's God different. Says, I am God, not a but man. But a man is a sinner and Jesus Christ was not a sinner. So he's not like a man. He's a man God and it's not the same. And but we have the I figure, you know, let me tell you something. The Muslims you? like to misquote Isaiah 42. To say that he talks about Muhammad. Can I just finish this word, please? Amy, thank you very much. Let me just finish I've this I've just word. disputed what you said, but that's Amy, fine, yeah. Amy, just let me finish yeah. this word from the Bible. Yeah. Respect your Bible, yes? Now, in the book of the prophet Hosea, okay? Chapter 11, verse 9, God says, For I am God and not a man the Holy One among you. So if in the Bible God says, I am God and not a man, then how dare you as a Christian say that God is a man? Because it's, it's not that God is a man, it's a man God. It's not the same thing. This is why in Isaiah 42, which the Muslim scholars like to, like to say that is about Muhammad, if we read in verse 13, let me read it to you. In verse 42, 13, they says, the Lord should go forth like a mighty man. man? He should stir up his zeal like a man of war. He shall cry out, yes, white lad, he shall prevail against his enemies. 
So we're not talking about a, a human, we're talking about a man, God. It's okay. not the same. Okay. I'm not the same as Jesus Christ. Okay. Anyway, I'm tired now. Okay. Look, Sorry. One, one last it's, word. One yeah. last word. You keep saying that, uh, you know, in the book of Numbers, you keep telling us that Jesus was God man, yes? Yeah. Okay. In the book of Numbers, in mm. every Christian Bible, in the Old Testament, in the book of Numbers, mm. chapter 23, verse 19, it says, God is not a man mm. that he should lie, mm. nor is God the son of man. Mm -hmm. Is that verse in the Bible true? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're taking it out of context what because you mean, now because Bible? it's not it's talking about how God is not like man when we have a fallen nature. God man? doesn't have a fallen nature. Uh, and English. let's talk about what it says about the Son of Bible Man. Because not Jesus man. Christ fulfills the prophecy in what it says about Daniel, See, Son you of are Man. Not believing no, in your Bible. I, no, you'd be scotting scripture. Well, the you miss God's scripture. But the Bible says, the Bible God says is those not who have ears have, can hear Nor what the God scripture the son of a says. She's saying God is man. She's saying that Jesus was son of man. Yeah, the Bible says he's the son of man. So how can God be, can God Almighty be the son of a man? No. But you're not understanding the point that he's I saying about son. No, 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 no. Because man English. is sin, man is sinful. Jesus was not sinful. But, uh, Amy. Are you a woman? Yeah. You can't be a man, can you? Yeah, but I'm not a God woman like Jesus was. <laughs> so, in a, I'm going to read to you the scripture that Jesus fulfilled and I will leave. In Daniel, Daniel was one of the Old Testament prophets in, verse, in chapter 7 from verse 13. And it says, And I was watching night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man coming with the clouds of heaven. He came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. Then to him was given dominion and glory in a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve in. With dominion is an everlasting dominion. He shall not pass away, and his kingdom the one which shall not be destroyed. And Jesus fulfilled that scripture. That's why he mentions that scripture in Matthew 26. Okay, can I give you one verse from the Bible? Why don't we talk about this? Yeah, well, because this is not a conversation. Yes, yes. Now, one, let me give you a very important verse. Since you're a woman, let me give you a very important verse about women in the Bible, yes? Okay, in every Christian Bible, in the first book of Corinthians, in the New Testament, in every Christian Bible, in the first book of Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 6, in the Bible it says, if a woman does not cover her head, she should have her hair cut off no, you oh, mean quoting oh. scripture now because I've just proven the point. He that he wants to say that I'm not allowed to evangelize. Uh, we're not in the church. I'm going to read no, to you now because me, now because this is a word. no because this is a different topic. So I'm going to read you because you don't want to read the fact that Jesus fulfilled the scripture in Matthew 26. In the, yeah. So why don't we so talk about the scripture? All right. Thank you very much for your opinion. In Matthew 26. Because you're misquoting scripture. In Matthew 26, verse 64, Jesus said to him, um, It is as you said, nevertheless, I say to you, hereafter you will see the Son of Man sitting at the Son right hand man. of the power and coming to the clouds of heaven. So okay. the Bible talks about this man you, God figure, you and you, you don't want to discuss it. No, no, you want to talk you, about me. I salute you. Listen, no, stay there. Listen. No, I'm tired no, now. No, listen, just last, last word. What was the last thing you read? That Jesus is sitting at the right hand of God. Yes? yes. So if Jesus is sitting at the right hand of God, that means Jesus himself is not God. No, so it means saying, no. So are you saying, Amy, knockout question, knockout no, it's not a are knockout you, question. Are, are you saying that God was sitting at the right hand of God? No, I'm saying that the person that of the no, the person of the Trinity who is appears that we can see is sitting at the right hand of God because no one has seen the Father. That's why in one Colossians 15 it says no one has seen God, but the only the, no, but, the no, it says that um, that Jesus is the image of the invisible God. Okay, okay. okay. 
the one who was crucified, the one who was crucified on the cross, was that your God and mighty Jesus who was crucified? Yes. So are you telling us God himself was crucified? The Son of God, yes. The, G the Son part of the Trinity was so crucified. So the one who was Son of God was crucified, when he was crucified, was that God who was crucified? It was the Son of God that was crucified, so yes. So when, when you say he was Son of God who was crucified, but the Son of God, was he God himself when he was crucified? Yes, yes. How can God himself be crucified? <laughs> because the, Jesus said that, you know, uh, because we our sins are washed away by his blood, because Jesus had to but, come to die, that's why. Can I give you a verse from our Holy Quran? In our Holy Quran, in Surah Az-Zumar, Surah chapter number 39, Ayah verse number 53. I read to you part of it. Allah says, La taknatu min rahmatillah. La taknatu min rahmatillah. And do not despair from the mercy of Allah. And then it says, Inna allaha yaghfiru zanuba jamia. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He can forgive all sins. So God does not have to die. For us to be no, forgiven. No, he didn't have to die. No, no, no. You're not forgiven because in your hadith it says that you, you, you will put Jews and Christians to, to in exchange for your sins. Jews but and I Christians. I tell you, yes. I okay. tell you, in Isaiah 53, let me answer. We know that this is a prophecy of Jesus, and we know that he says in here that surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yes, we esteem, we esteem this stricken, smitten by God and afflicted, but he was wounded for our transgressions the chastisement for our peace was upon him by his stripes we are healed by his stripes we are healed and like sheep have gone astray we have turned everyone to his own way and the Lord has laid in hand on him the iniquity of us all he was oppressed he was afflicted yet he opened not his mouth he was led as a lamb not as slaughter and as a sheep before his shearers his son who is the lamb that he's talking about lamb. which lamb is he talking about do you mean Jesus was a lamb? Yes. So Jesus it's telling you in there. Jesus was God. Now you are saying Jesus was a lamb. Who is the lamb that he's talking about tell in me, here? Tell me, madam. Is it true? I went to school in this country, primary school, secondary school, mm -hmm. all over. And I know when they told us about lamb, lamb is an animal. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you say Jesus was God, now you are saying Jesus was a lamb. Yes. How can it's you a metaphorical say Jesus was God because and he was a lamb because he was a perfect sacrifice. And I'm going to end here because I'm thirsty. Wow. In John, in the in the Gospel of John, chapter one, from verse twenty nine, it says the next day John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, "Behold, the Lamb of God lamb who takes God. away the sin of the world." So, That's it. Thank you very much, Amy. So this Lamb of God. Yeah. Is this Lamb of God Jesus? Yes. So Jesus, I mean, was a lamb. It's a metaphorical God. language. Do you understand he what it means? God. So you, when you say Jesus was Lamb of God, yeah, that means Jesus Himself, yeah, according to you, mm -hmm. was a lamb. Yeah. No, according to the Bible. So, was, so how can God Almighty be a lamb? Because it's metaphorical think, language, never, that's why. Never. What huh? language Jesus spoke? Hold on, hold he on. spoke Aramaic, but you're not changing hold subjects. Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Allah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I've just told you, I've just showed to you that Jesus had to die. Oh, he had to die. Yeah, because so he's the Lamb of God. He's a perfect is sacrifice from our sins. Who your God is? Okay, was Jesus Almighty God? Let me, no, because you're jumping from topic to topic and I'm Am not going to let you do it. I'm going to end this topic now. I'm not jumping. I'm going to end this topic now. So, in the book of you Revelation, no, in chapter 5, it says, And I looked and behold, in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the others, stood a lamb as though he had been lamb. slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which God are the seven spirits of God, sent out in all the earth. God so is that now? It, it is a metaphorical language because the whole point is 
that Jesus died for your sins. No, he never he died. died. He did die. No, we are Muslim. We say he was a prophet. We say he never died. They are yeah, because Christian, he's an antichrist they religion. They say Jesus was God Almighty, and yeah. they use their brain. They use yeah. their logic. They say the Almighty God died. Yeah. In the first epistle of John, so it says, and, and he himself is a propitiation yeah. for our sins. No, uh, not for ours only, but for the whole world. Okay, was Jesus a Jew? Why are you jumping from topic to topic? I'm this is ridiculous. I'm not now you're, up and down. Now you're jumping. Said, did I jump? You're jumping from Anybody topic to topic. No, I never jump. Anyway, it was not nice talking to you. If anybody wants books of John to, to read the truth about Jesus Christ. No, I, I'm uh, I'm done. We've been here for half an hour now. It doesn't matter. I can stay another okay. two hours. Does anybody want books of John's? Oh, corrupted. Corrupted book. We'll carry on the next episode next week. Thank you and you. Does anybody want books of John? I'll